Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn about adaptive thresholding using OpenCV and Python. So let us start by importing the important libraries that is CV2, Matplotlib and NumPy. So I run this part of code and next I will read a image from my local computer uh, into the variable image using the cv2.imdeat function. So I run this part of code as well and I use the matplotlib function in order to see the image. So this is just a simple image of a book that I, I used to read when I was in college and this you can take a similar picture and load it using the cv2.imdeat function. This is just a simple as I already said this is just a simple picture of a notebook page. So next I want to do the thresholding. So in order to do thresholding the image should be in grayscale format and not a BGR format since this picture is in a BGR format because by default cv2.imread reads the image in a BGR format. So BGR color format. So I convert the particular image to a grayscale image using the cv2.convertColor function and I use the conversion color conversion of bgr to gray and this is the image that we read so i run this part of code and next i try to see the grayscale converted image so i run this part of code as well and this is a grayscale image which means it is either black black or white the pixel values are between black and white where 0 is black and 255 is white so before we move on to adaptive thresholding, let us see a normal binary thresholding uh, that is either black or white. So the, we, I use the cv2.threshold function and uh, I use the I use the grayscale image and 150 is the threshold and 255 is the maximum value which is white. And next I plot the image using the matplotlib.imshow function and in case if you want to know more about a binary thresholding simple binary thresholding check out my previous video so i run this part of code and as you can see this is the output that i got using the binary normal simple binary thresholding so this does not look good in any, in any sense so in order to solve the problem there is a nice method in order to solve this problem there is adaptive thresholding what binary thresholding does is it takes a, sim a single threshold value for the whole image but in adaptive thresholding there are many threshold values in different parts of an image so suppose this particular part has a some threshold value this part has a different threshold value this part has a this different threshold value so this threshold value depends on the surrounding pixels of that particular part so th that gives us improved performance and gives us a better image so i will write that part of code in order to get the output so there are two types of adaptive thresholding the adaptive mean and adaptive gaussian so adaptive mean takes the mean of the pixels in this particular area and gets a threshold out of it and adaptive gaussian takes the weighted sum of the pixel in that particular area and gets a threshold out of it so this is the difference between adaptive mean and adaptive Gaussian. Adaptive mean takes the mean of the pixels in that particular area and adaptive Gaussian takes weighted sum of the pixels in that particular area. So first I will take an example of adaptive mean. So I will create a variable th2 equals cv2 dot I will I am using the adaptive thresholding so cv2 dot adapt adaptive thresh sorry threshold and next i mention the image that i want to load so the name of the image is image gray and next i mention the maximum value that is 255 which means if the, if the pixel value is greater than threshold it will get get a maximum value of 255 that is it will get a value of it will get a color white next i mention the cv cv2 dot adapt 
एक्टिव टी एच आर डी एस एच अंडर स्को मीन मीन बिकॉज वी आर करेंटली इन दिस एग्जाम्पल फर्स्टली वी आर डूइंग द अडेप्टिव मीन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट अनदर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दैट वी टेक वी विल डू द अडेप्टिव गॉजिन सो वी यूज द अडेप्टिव थ्रेश होल्ड मीन फंक्शन नेक्स्ट वी यूज द सी सी वी टू डॉट सी एच आर एस थ्रेश बाइनरी फंक्शन बिकॉज फाइनली वी वॉन्ट टू सी अ बाइनरी आउटपुट दैट इज जीरो और टू फिफ्टी फाइव दैट इज ब्लैक और वाइट सो दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ पिक्सल्स अराउंड दैट पर्टिकुलर पिक्सल्स ऑन विच द थ्रेश होल्ड विल बी अप्लाइड सो दिस इज दैट पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू एंड नेक्स्ट आई मैंशन द वैल्यू विच विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द थ्रेश होल्ड वैल्यू दैट इज द मेन थ्रेश होल्ड वैल्यू so next i copy the matplotlib function in order to display the image i copy this part and i paste it here i just change the variable name from th1 to th2 and i run this part of code so i got an error it was expected i forgot to write the c here so i run this part of code once again and i got get an image which looks slightly better than this but this can be much better uh, we have to just make some we have to identify what how many pixels do we want to take around that particular single pixel so i can change these values so instead of 11 i may change it to 50 oh sorry not 50 this particular value will take only odd numbers and you cannot give even numbers if you give given even number you will get an error so let's take 57 year and let's take let's take 8 year so i run this part of code once again and you can see that the output that we get is much better than the previous one so i will again make some more changes let's take a value 63 because i need to give odd values 63 and here let's take 14 you can give even or odd values here this is like a constant that we subtract from the mean that we get so i run this part of code once again and i get a much more improved well, much more improved output so this was the output that we got using the adaptive threshold mean function now next what i will do is i'll just copy this part of code and i will do the adaptive gaussian thresholding so i copy this and paste here so just i just have to make a small change instead of mean here i will re, uh, rename it to g a u s s i n the spelling is correct g a u s s i a n they are correct and next i will just change the variable name to 3 and once again i'll, I'll change it to 3 now everything looks fine now and i will keep the surrounding pixel value surrounding number of pixels to be 63 and i will keep the constant to be 14 you can play around with that so i run this part of code once again and see this is the output that we got using the adaptive threshold gaussian adaptive th gaussian thresholding so you can spot the difference between the two here the the text is slightly not not properly visible but in this example adaptive mean thresholding the text is slightly much more properly visible uh, so you can uh, de decide which threshold and you want to use depending on the output that you get so let's make a few more changes here let's change the number of pixels surrounding pixels let's take the value 85 and here i'll take 13 for example and so as you can see this is this does not look any any different than the previous one let's Uh, reduce it to maybe be seventeen, and I'll reduce it to maybe five, and I'll run this part of code. And as you can see, the output has been degraded on decreasing the number of pixels surrounding a particular pixel. So you can play around with these values until and unless you get a proper desirable output. so i'd like to show you something more as well here the this was a th binary thresholding but here the text is in black and the 
the background of the page is in white so instead of using uh, threshold binary i'll change it to threshold binary inv so the text will appear white in color and the background will appear black in color the background of the page the page will appear black in color so i'll change it to let's take 85 i'll change it to 15 and i'll run this part of code once again and as you can see the background of the page the page the color of the page is black and the text is white so you can play around with these this cool uh, cool functions of OpenCV in order to get much more in order to get the output that suits your requirement and your expectations so this was a basic tutorial on adaptive thresholding i hope you like the video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching